Well, the day's almost over now, but I just realized I didn't make an intro or say what I was doing here or anything. I was here today with my brother at this creek I haven't been to in quite a while. It's a creek that doesn't get a whole lot of pressure. As you can tell, the walk through here is pretty brutal. There's not really any path. You're just walking through tall grass and sticker bushes and stuff the whole time. So he stayed back here quite a bit where you don't have to do so much of this walking through all this trash. But like I said though, day's pretty much over. Just walking back towards my brother now. But anyway, I hope you do enjoy the fish catches that we did have. Had quite a bit of fun here today, so had fun filming it. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Oh yeah, look, a little perch and minnows and stuff. See them? Yeah. A little bass too, actually. Do you have uh, a wee crawl or the creek hopper? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Is that what you want? No. Just had something bite my popper. Golly, it was a decent bass looking at it. Oh yeah, good bass. Golly, there's a really nice bass up here. Dang it. Came out and looked at it real hard for a second. It was a really nice bass. I got three or four pounder just now. Came and looked at my bait. Really nice one. Wow. I'm not sure where he went. Went out towards the middle of the creek chasing my bait and then I lost sight of him. Oh, oh no! Golly, fish ate it. I'm not sure which one it was. I don't know if it was the big one or not. I didn't really see the fish. Golly. Something just barely came up and ate it from behind. Golly. That was that big bass. That really stinks. Oop. Eh, maybe not though. I just caught this little guy. This is probably the one that hit it the first time. Little dude. Where? Right there. Oh, it might be a baby um, Rio Grande cichlid. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Seen those? They're pretty cool looking. These things just do not want to actually eat the pick up. So just a little feller. It's crazy how this tree fell over. That's recent. I don't know how recent, I guess, actually. I haven't been here in a while, but since the last time I've been here, at least, for sure. I've never seen that tree uprooted like that. That's crazy. Oh, 
Ooh, there's one. A little bit better. Oh no, dang it. Jumped and came off. Golly, I just had a decent one. Jumped and came off. Shucks. That was a pretty good fish. A couple pounds at least. Dang it, good sign though. Seen a couple of good fish already. I'm getting one to eat. Golly, I really wanted to touch that fish though. That was a good one. Wanted to land him. I need to tighten my drag a little bit. Actually, that fish took a little bit of drag there for a second. Using this little spinning rod just to make it a little more fun in this shallow little creek. Tight quarters. Do still have relatively heavy line though. I've got some 30 pound braids, so don't have to be super delicate with them. Probably should have set the hook harder on that fish actually. Tried to horse him a little bit more. Eh, I don't know. He jumped and came off, so not sure horsing them anymore would have really done any good. One. little guy hey look this is what you came for <laughs> got me a bluegill bright sucker too holy cow just like my top water though that's why I'm throwing this thing there you go little buddy Blew it up pretty good, but I think it's just another bluegill. <laughs> yep. Another super bright bluegill. Golly. Here we go. Bright, bright perch there. Got him. Nice. Nice little bass, actually. Little creek bass. Better than that first one. Thought he missed it, actually, at first, but my bait went under the water. Woo -hoo. Got a little bass. <laughs> I was wondering if something was gonna be up here in this little pool. Some really cool looking little pool right here. This bass is kind of trapped in there, I think, actually. Well, I don't know. He can come over these rocks for right now if he wanted to go downstream, but I think he's up in this pocket on purpose looking for stuff to eat like he was right there. That was cool. I'm going to try to get him back into the same pool I caught him in. I'm not going to mess with what nature's doing over here. I was thinking about letting him down a little further here, but I think he'll be all right in here. There you go, buddy. <laughs> that was cool. Oop. Fish just came up and swiped at it. Looks like a little bass. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Couple of little bass looking at it. I'm try to give him another chance to eat it out here. Oh, nope, another one ate it. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was cool. Another fish came out of nowhere and ate it. That's not even one of the ones I was looking at. <laughs> came from upstream and annihilated it. Woo Got another one. <laughs> that was cool. I threw up there in those little ripples. I was going to work it over here into this little eddy right here, but that fish came from right in the middle of the ripples over there, upstream, and absolutely destroyed that popper. That was cool. Thank you for playing, little buddy. That was fun. Huh. 
<laughs> wow. It's another reason again, like I was saying earlier, throwing this little spinning rod just to make it a little more fun. Most of these fish are gonna be on the smaller side just cause it's a tiny little creek here, but there is a spot up here that we're about to get to where I do expect there to be some bigger fish. Oop. <laughs> Little bluegill messing with my popper there. Anyway, like I was saying, up here just a little bit further, we are getting to a spot where I do expect some bigger fish. So that might be get real interesting on these little spinning rods. That was awesome. Nice fish too. Sitting in that tiny little eddy right there. <laughs> that was awesome. Came out and destroyed it as soon as it hit the water. Come here, buddy. Don't you come off of there. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Wow. Nice little fish to be sitting in a tiny, tiny little pocket like that. It is not very deep right there under that tree. <laughs> All right. Well, that was pretty darn cool. That fish came out of some very, very shallow water over there. Absolutely destroyed that popper as soon as it hit the water. Go back up underneath there, buddy. Yep. Right back into his little pocket. <laughs> I think I can walk along the edge of the creek right here. Looks shallow enough for a little ways at least. So I can cast over here to this deeper side. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Just a little guy, but golly. Came up there and smashed it. <laughs> Come up here, little fella. Ooh, ooh, stop your shaking. That was pretty awesome. He definitely wanted to eat. Came up there and smashed it. Thank you for playing, little buddy. right there went over to it oh turned off though Oop. coming back <laughs> right behind it oh, there's another one coming from the left too yep still looking Oop, another one coming three bass right here right behind my popper Ah, golly. They're too close to me though, they're getting spooked. Uh, just kept swimming that way, dang it. Oh! Holly, fish crushed it. I thought it was a nice bass, but I think it's just a big old bluegill. <laughs> yep, not even a big bluegill, just a bluegill. All right, size one. If I was taking them home to eat, I'd take him. Like I said, though, matching them bluegill just perfectly with that popper there. Surprised I'm not getting any big bass to eat this thing, honestly. Oh, look at that fish did not eat it like it was a perch. That was crazy. Go 
Golly, so close to going past my waders limits here. Here's some rushing water up here, so should be some nice little eddies coming up here in just a minute. one not sure how good he is but ah oh, golly it was a decent bass <sighs> man that was another one that was at probably at least two pounds so my top two bass now have come off today golly come on fish Well, dang it. That was another decent one that jumped and came off. Oop, fish behind it. Come on, eat it. Oh my gosh. Golly. Saw a big old weight come up behind it, but he didn't eat it. Dang. Golly, that was a big wake though. Super, super obvious. Oh, big bass. Golly. Gosh. Big old bass underneath my popper. I didn't even see him until after I cast it. Ooh, there's another pretty decent one too. Golly. That's a big one right here though. Dang it. Sitting right here in this pocket, just looking, not moving. Oh, another one following my bait. Now oh, here he comes looking at it. Golly, just looking though, not eating it at all. Jeez, that's a pretty nice bass right there. A couple of little guys underneath it too. Oh, come on dude. Turn towards it. Right underneath the pit. Come on. It's crazy. <laughs> Jeez. He's following it, but just not eating it. Golly. I want to put on a little plastic and see if he'll eat it, I guess, because he's not moving. Oh, there he comes. Right up to my bait. Oh my gosh. Staying right behind it. <laughs> Another little bass. Oh, two, three more little bass. Right behind him, too. Oh. Still chasing it all the way up here. Still following it. Ooh. Another nice bass just showed up from the right, too. Golly. Oh my gosh, this fish is chasing it all the way up here. He's still looking at it. All the way up by the bank. I can't believe he's staying right here with me standing here. Oh no, the other one swam off when I swung right there. He stayed though. Golly, I can't get my bait off this grass. Ah, they're both turning around now. Came back in his pocket, the big one did, he's still sitting there. Golly.
Oop, there's the other one there to the left. These fish are just chilling right here though. Wow. They are just chilling right there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and tie on a little worm right now. Try to catch these fish. Little Ned rig, I'm gonna try on them first, I guess. Should be a nice little snack for those fish to eat. Should be no problem. Whew, this fish got me shaking. <laughs> it's a pretty darn good one. All right, let's see if any of these fish are still sitting over here. I can't believe they're actually sitting there that long just looking at me, not swimming off. Oh, yep. There's both of them still there. I wonder if they're maybe on a bed then. They're wanting to hang around so much. Ah, uh, swam off there, the bigger one did. Oh, the other one's looking at it though. Huh? They're both sitting right by it, but I can't tell if they're looking at it or not. Oop, I think I just saw one open his mouth, yep. Oh no, he had it. Dang it, he had it. Oh, what the heck? I broke my hook off in him. How did I do that? Golly, is that fish still hanging around there? Dang it. How in the world did that happen? I don't see the fish there anymore either. Golly. No way. No way did that really just happen. I didn't even set the hook that hard. Saw his mouth open a little bit. I thought maybe he ate it. I was still looking when I saw my line moving. Set the hook in my... My hook just snapped like nothing. That was crazy. Golly. Golly, that stinks. That fish ate my bait. <sighs> and I broke the hook point off in him. Not even like... <laughs> That's weird. I don't think I've ever broke a hook right there before. All right, let's see if there's any fish over here still. I doubt it. Didn't see them come back. Golly. Yeah, those bigger fish are definitely gone. There might be some smaller ones down there, but... God, those two nice ones are gone. Oh, wait a minute. There's one of the nicer ones. Smaller of the two is still there, I guess. Fortunately, the bigger one is the one that ate my bait, too. It's the biggest one down there. That really stinks. That fish broke my hook like that. Golly. I don't see any of them hanging around here anymore, though. Dang it. Dang it.